This isn't good. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel today. This is Prep Texas. Today we're going to talk about the Fight Home Bag. guys this is gonna be the fight home bag I want to start this video by saying that my theory with this bag is something that's added to your everyday carry your lines of defense so you're gonna have things like a knife already on you you're gonna have things like your everyday carry pistol on you an extra magazine perhaps so this bag is just a bag that you would use to open up and fight your way back home if a serious situation arises while you're away all right guys so let's take a look here at the loadout bag Let's start by saying this isn't like a complete survival bag, right? This isn't going to have everything you need to completely survive. This bag was meant to fight your way back home if something serious happened while you were out and away. So real inconspicuous if it's in the back of your SUV or in the trunk of your car or truck. So let's take a look at what we got in here. So this is a 12 and a half inch AR pistol um, with the linear compensator and the flush rail there you guys know how the lowers work just clip them together good to go so the backpack in here I figure I'm gonna get the most flack from you guys from and again this isn't like a survive for a long period of time bag this is just a real lightweight everything you might need to fight your way back home in a serious situation. Um, this bag isn't gonna last you a week out in the woods or anything like that, but it's gonna be something to carry on your back if you need to carry anything and have like extra bullets, extra food, extra water. And this is just a little game winner backpack, right? Um, so I threw the Becker BK-18 in here. And again, that would go on my belt. And then on the inside of this bag, we just have a food ration bar, a simple first aid kit, one bottle of water, and one extra magazine. In the front pocket here, I just have a bandana, 
We know the uses for bandanas are many. A small survival kit. Nothing special. And an extra lighter. So again, very basic, very lightweight on the bag. Um, it's not the best built bag in the world, but it's sturdy enough, again, just to get you through a bad situation and try to get you home. So the chest rig that we have is the One Tigers chest rig. You can see I have three extra mags and a radio in here. Um, inside this pouch, I have an extra battery, a smaller antenna, an earpiece for the radio, some face paint, um, some first aid stuff like bleed stop, an extra lighter, just a little utility pouch. I think I have a Rat in the Rain pad in there. Uh, I have one extra pistol mag here. On this side, I have just a chem stick, a multi-tool, and a flashlight, and then an open pouch uh, for whatever it is you may need. Again, this is just super lightweight, super practical for some kind of setup like this, um, just to make sure you can get home and have the extra ammo that you need. So we have a basic two-point sling here with the QD mounts. And on this top pouch here, um, you could have shoes in here. I think on the picture on the thumbnail, I had some extra shoes in here in case you're not wearing appropriate footwear. Definitely some ear protection. If you have to get into a firefight, it's something you're gonna, you're gonna want. Also, these have amplification, so they can help you hear things that you might not hear uh, without them as well. So these are the Walker razors in the black multicam. And then I just threw a pair of gloves in there. Um, you know, when you shoot rifles a lot, they get hot and you don't want to burn your hands or get cut up or something stupid um, just while you're trying to get home. So gloves are always a good idea. Thanks for stopping by the channel today, guys. That's going to do it for us today here at Prep Texas. If you like this kind of content, please like, subscribe, and share. It's going to help us grow and make better content for you guys in the future. This is Prep Texas signing off.